So what I'm going to show is, um, is a typical purchase by a consumer and show the sort of functionality that they would expect to see. So I'm going to make some purchases. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and find a product that I'd like to buy. Um, what you notice here is that I've already logged on, so this system knows that my store that I use most often is the Trickley one in Twickenham, which is my local store, and, and I can go and check first the fact that, well, I think I'd rather fancy going and picking that pillow up rather than having it delivered, so I have the ability to go and check whether my local store has actually got that in stock. And what you'll notice is it confirms, yes, Twickenham has got it in stock. Um, as it happens, it tells me that Canada Place in the... Um, in the east of London's got it, and interestingly, Richmond um, doesn't have that available at all. So I'm going to go ahead and say that I'd like to take that um, offer of collecting it from Twickenham. And what that done is now put it into my shopping basket and confirm the fact that if I want to collect in store, I'm probably going to collect it from Twickenham. Now, as it happens, what I'm then going to do is I'm going to then consider purchasing another item, um, and I'm going to go and purchase a bit of jewellery, but in this occasion I'm going to intentionally forget to check um, where that's available in stock. So I'm going to um, go and get some of these Blue Horizon bracelets, uh, and I'm simply going to put that in my shopping cart. Um, and what I'm going to show you is, is the need for a bit of sophistication here, because what you notice when I add it to the shopping cart is it's pointing out to me the fact that um, whilst it was fine to collect the pillow from Twickenham, actually um, the bracelets are not in stock in Twickenham, and therefore as a result of that, um, I need to rethink that a bit. Um, so what I'm going to do is click here um, and go and look and see what my options are. Um, and I notice actually at Canada Place has also got those in stock, so I'm going to choose Canada Place instead for collect and store. And what's happened now is both these products are in stock in Canada Place and the system now knows that that's where I prefer to go and collect them from. So I've now got the two things that I want. I know that I can go and collect them in store, so I'm going to proceed to the checkout. And I again have to confirm collecting store just to make absolutely certain that that's what I definitely want to do. And again, it summarizes me the fact that everything's okay as far as both of those are concerned. So I confirm that. And what I'll now be doing is invited to let the system know how I'd like to pay. Now, obviously, I could pay online if I wanted to, um, but I don't really want to take you through all of that. So I'm going to say I'm going to pay in store and take that option. And basically that confirms my order. Um, and what I'll now show you is that I received an email confirming that. And in my email is my confirmation of my order, reminding me where I'm going to collect it. Uh, and if I'm in any doubts about where that is, I can click on Canada Place and be shown where it is, what the store opening times, and if necessary, get directions on how to get there. 